iOS 17.4, the latest software update for the iPhone is here and this one is a huge one. This is not just because for me this update came in at 6.27 gigs, but because it has a ton of new features and changes it has to offer. Check this out. The App Store has been updated by allowing game streaming applications now. With this update, Apple is allowing alternative app stores in the European Union and you can see the affected applications here, including new frameworks and APIs for alternative browsers. Kudos to the EU for compelling the iPhone to be a better phone sooner than it had intended. The podcast application has also been updated. You can see you have a new pop-up screen when you open it up. When you play a specific podcast and you go to here, you can see this now reflects the Apple Music application. And not only that, if you click here, you can see that Apple has added automatically generated transcript. As you skip ahead, the transcripts too will be skipping. These tabs that you see on the bottom of the podcast application have been updated to match the Apple Music application as well. In Apple Music you can see we have another update here when you go to the home page this used to be listen now but now this is called home in settings under Siri and search you can see we have this new tab where Siri can read messages in alternative languages that are not even set this update also adds six new emojis as you can see and two of them including the shaking of heads vertically and horizontally under face ID and passcode settings stolen device protection has been updated where it now requires security delay with familiar locations or you can always set it to always which is a new option in settings there's a new sub menu when you go to general and you go to about and you go all the way down you can see there's this identifiable region and when you click there it's unknown and there's this tab that you can click and it doesn't seem to be doing anything at now in Safari here you can see the address bar when you click and try to search it's wider and slightly longer than what we had on iOS 17.3 here under settings we have a new tab under privacy and security and it's called contactless and NFC and it doesn't seem to be functional as of now. If you live in Germany, this one is for you. In settings, when you go to Siri and search, now in Germany, you have the ability to just say, hey Siri, or just say Siri. Those are the majority of new features and changes in the latest iOS 17.4. If you don't see this update, just know that it's in beta as of now and the release date is about a month and a half out. So if you wanna see the whole update and everything in full detail, definitely follow along as I'll be covering it along the way.